Have you ever heard of the butterfly effect? About 50 years ago, a meteorologist named Edward Lorenz was studying weather simulation, and he discovered that even the slightest, tiniest variance in a weather pattern can completely change everything, throwing everything off, making predicting even large weather systems very difficult. Edward Lorenz said, does the flap of a butterfly's wings in Brazil set off a tornado in Texas? That cascading principle is true in all of human life. Let's say you start off your day in a bad, bad mood, and you can spend your day being rude to others, being crude to others, and they in turn receive that negativity, and they let it out of themselves too, just like you did to their co-workers, and then to their families and friends at home. And who knows what evils can emerge from just one person who is having a bad day. That's the butterfly effect. The same is true with our kindness and patience. That can be passed on too and can make a big difference in, pe in people's lives. Again, the butterfly effect. You see, the gospel today is a tough one because Jesus is telling us that when someone is ruining our day, we should let that negativity end then and there, that we don't retaliate, we don't hit back. Jesus said, offer no resistance to one who is evil. Of course, this doesn't mean we just let people take advantage of us, but so often we can take a step to help break the cycle of hurt and retaliation. Maybe you can perform a small act of kindness. Simply say to someone who offended you, I forgive you, I let it go, or let's just forget about it and move on. That's all you need. It may not be easy. It may not be what you're feeling at the moment. But your generous heart just might help someone. Maybe even far down the line. Remember the butterfly effect. Jesus also said today, should anyone press you into service for one mile, go with him for two miles. Now, when someone asks more from us than what is expected, well, we tend to complain, don't we? But maybe someone really needs our help. Maybe you might be willing to do twice as much in a certain situation to be generous and serve even beyond what is expected. But if you're like me, sometimes you're going to complain. you got to stay late at work to finish a project, or your in-laws need help with a repair at home, or your elderly mom needs you to make one more trip to the drugstore, and you're tired. You know, in cases like these, we whine and complain, but isn't it a blessing that God doesn't treat us that way? And his teaching today is calling us well, calling us to live Jesus, to live our lives willing to sacrifice, willing to live our lives with generous love. Remember the butterfly effect. May Almighty God bless and keep you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Have a Lepidoptera Monday.